But I want to spend a little bit more time on the CRC aspect of it. Sure. One, how did you get involved in it when you first got involved in it as a county commissioner? What brought this thing to the table, and what's your involvement today? Well, the thing that brought it to my attention is it just seemed to be the inappropriateness of the solution. We are not to be a parking lot for Portland. We're not to be a bedroom community for Portland. When I drive from East County across the I-5 every morning, I see that flood of traffic flooding out of our all these wonderful, this workforce here, flooding into uh, Oregon to work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm thinking that's our that's our Hurricane Katrina. That's you, a disaster every day. You've taken a position that well, actually, Vancouver has taken the position on the light rail. What mm -hmm. was what was the rationale for that? Well, <laughs> light rail is a high density tr tr public transit solution that is appropriate in like inner city Paris, London, maybe inner city even New York, where you've got millions of people in a very tight area where you just can't drive. Uh, uh, so light rail isn't a solution, it is a solution for those areas, but Clark County, it is totally an inappropriate solution here. And the, the light rail is basically, it's a, it's a 15 mile an hour train from the previous century. The light rail solution, the reason I'm involved is because that is absolutely a boondoggle. Mm -hmm. It is the wrong fit for uh, moving us forward to the, into this century, the 21st century here. Tell me this, on that particular note, the governor of Washington was here not too long ago. Yep. Did he get the message? <laughs> he had a dog and pony show and they had their message all, the, the uh, public relations kind of thing, got that message out. Now's the time to build it or we're going to lose it. So it's not a matter of do we hurry up and rush with some kind of a, a project where you're going to try to clamor for money that's going to be debt for generations, paid for by tolls and taxes, or do you end up with a smart solution that will move us, get the most bang for the buck, that will actually be a congestion relief solution like a third bridge. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate his enthusiasm. Uh, wrongly directed, wrong solution. He's. Uh, uh, he, and what was his response? Did he say anything? Um, well, uh, it, it seems that the promoters, including our, our new governor, mm -hmm. uh, they only know what they've been told, mm -hmm. and they've been mis they've been misinformed. Uh, the promoters of this, the profiteers and the lobbyists that keep saying that this is the right solution for the, you know, you, know, you lose it, use it or lose it, get that money, go after the, the money's the dog food, go after the dog food, you, you got to get that. Uh, they're misinforming uh, of the authorities. Well, whose money are we talking about? Well, they're talking about our gas taxes. Right. Our, they're saying we don't have enough to maintain our roads and our bridges or to build anything new. And they're yet and especially if we're going to build anything of uh, that's going to be $100 million or more, there's no way we could build that. We can't afford it because we don't have the cash. Well, think about that. They found the cash for $170 million and spent it. We didn't borrow that money. We spent our cash just so far to promote light rail, uh, this boondoggle. And yet, if we're going to actually build something, they say, oh, you got to borrow that one. Now, what, 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 right what, what about your other cohorts on the commission? So we, you, have, you have three, three of them. You have three guys. Right? In, 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 yes, there are three county commissioners. Right. Uh, Steve Stewart okay. has been a strong supporter of what I call the, the Columbia River uh, light rail tolling project. Hmm. They like to sell it as a bridge project. It's not a bridge project. We got a bridge. Well, what they do want to do is tear down this bridge and, and uh, replace it with a light rail bridge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the, so he's for it. Uh, the uh, other commissioner, uh, Tom Milkey, uh, he thinks like I do. And he basically uh, thinks like the people because we've had a vote on this multiple times. Every time there's a light rail vote, two to one uh, people in our community say, and that's we what don't you've want done. This. And that's what you've done of late. Yes, you voted and, and on this the piece. general election, the same election where I got elected right. okay. in November so of last year, people. we actually had this on the ballot. It mm -hmm. was not an advisory vote. Right. It was right. a binding right. vote okay. that says, do you want to pay for this with a, with a tax increase for funding Operation Maintenance of Light Rail? And it went down two to one. 
And so that is a required by law. It's right. RCW 81.104. So there should, there should, there'll be no bridge. Well, you would think that that uh, election results would right. be respected by right. elected leaders. Right. What about the congressional really delegation? What about the congressional delegation? We, we just you just picked up a, another congressperson here in the Vancouver. Uh, uh, Jamie Herrera B right. uh, Butler. Where, where is she on the position? Um, she is looking to the the community, uh, Clark County, that say if you want this project then you vote on this project, and if you support it, we'll support it. Well, they've already voted on it. They've said no. Mm -hmm. So where, where, is she? Where, where is she on the, on the project? Uh, well, she is, she's siding with the people. She is not pushing okay. this forward. Okay. She's saying you had a vote mm -hmm. and said no. So she's, she's advocating for the people. How should the people react? Should they be calling their legislators? Should they be calling their commissioners? Should they be the city council people and whatever? One, how should they react, and where are we going from here? Just to answer your question, where yeah. to from here, okay. Um, one is one of the last posts I made in my, on my Facebook was to contact these. There are six key phone numbers, uh, senators that are on the Transportation Committee okay. within the state legislature. And I put their names and their numbers on my Facebook. Call them and let them know uh, about your position on this project. And uh, the they want to hear. Uh, a key thing. I I just got off the phone a little bit earlier today uh, with the co-chair uh, Senator Curtis King who is charged with this, with this decision for the transportation budget for Washington State. And he has invited and welcomed us to have a countywide vote on this issue this primary, August 6. And they want to know, do the people buy into this or not? So if the countywide, and I can tell you as county commissioner, and we already have green light from the uh, at least one other commissioner, and I think two. Uh, and we also have the authorization that says, yeah, we can do this from our own prosecuting attorney, uh, that yes, we can, and yes, we will have a countywide vote on this project this August 6th. And the state legislature is asking us to for that feedback. They want to know, do the people, are they supporting this project, or they want us to stop this project? and let the evidence speak for itself. It becomes self-evident, and those people that claim that they support it, well, good, let the voters decide. The ballot box, only this time, yes to mean yes, and no will mean no. You think that's gonna happen? I can guarantee you it's gonna happen. <laughs> yes, it will happen.